This is Donna, and we are live at CBA Unite in Nashville, and um, I'm trying not to fangirl because we are here with Lynette Eason, and you guys know I'm a huge fan. Um, when when they asked me if I wanted to interview you, I was like, squee, yes. <laughs> um, but um, so I'll let you, um, in case there's any crazy person out there that's not read your book and doesn't know who you are, uh, they've obviously not read my website, but no. Um, tell us just a little bit about yourself and the book um, coming out called To Protect. Okay, well, like she said, I'm Lynette Eason, and um, I am basically a stay-at-home mom with teenagers, uh, one in college, a junior in high school, and actually a senior, sorry, sorry, Will. Um, <laughs> and I write. Um, that's my full-time job now, and so Call to Protect is the second book that will be out at the end of this month and it is the second book in the Blue Justice series. The first book was Oath of Honor and the second book is um, Called to Protect and it's with Chloe St. John who is one of the sisters in the family that the book is about. So um, yeah, so that's what it's about. <laughs> so it's a romantic suspense. It is romantic suspense. So yeah. It's more suspense than romance. Yeah, because I'm, I'm not that good at romance. So. <laughs> oh, they're very good though. Like I... I don't know. Somehow they just capture you, and you just have to get to the ending. And and I and you've been able to surprise me, which you love. Like for avid readers, like we feel like, oh, we've heard every plot line, and I love yeah. to be surprised. So yeah. Yeah, I've heard there's only 20 plot lines, so we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what was your hardest scene to write? Probably the hardest scene to write is actually going to be in the book that comes out in the beginning of 2019. It was um, where, oh, I don't want to give it away, but my, my heroine got some really bad news, and she has this really just messy crying on the bathroom floor, and the hero comes in and is handing her tissues, and you know, it was just really hard to write that scene, yeah. Wow, that's good. See, I would think with teenagers, you could have just had them act that out. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, of all the characters you've created, um, which one's your favorite? Oh, that's probably also in the book that will be coming out. It's called, it's called Code of Valor. It's after Call to Protect. It's the third one in the series, and it's um, with Brady St. John, who is the brother to the two sisters in the first two books. And... Um, <sighs> Uh, the heroine's name is Emily, and I guess she's probably my favorite because I think I put a little more of myself in her. I can relate to her a little better, and so that's probably why. Wow. She's not just like me, and yes. I didn't go through a lot of the history that I gave her, but just the way she kind of thinks about herself oh. is, is a little bit, yeah. <laughs> so would you typically not put a lot of yourself in a book? No. Typically not. I mean, there's a yeah. whole lot of characters at this point. I've written almost 50 <laughs> books. And so um, wow. I, I tend to try to leave myself out of the equation and try to create a whole new person with um, with a whole separate personality. So, I mean, I guess there's a little bit of me in every book. I probably can't <laughs> avoid it. But, um, yeah. but yeah, for the most part, I, I don't try to put myself in it. Yeah. So 50 books is a lot. So let's say there is someone new to your writing. Um, where would you have them start? <laughs> I would say I would probably start with the Blue Justice series and work my way backwards. And now you have to understand, this is over a 10 year period, and my <laughs> writing hopefully has gotten much better than some of the earlier books. But um, yeah, I think I would start with the later, the later books. I just like those stories better. Yeah, well, and I loved the first one. And I think the first book I may have read, I'm trying to think, it was the um, the three girls, the yellow... Their... Oh, yeah, the Women of Justice Women, series. Yes, yeah. yeah, that was yeah. one of my first, and I loved that series, too. Oh, thank those you. Those covers were very eye-catching. So. <laughs> yeah, they were. They were, <laughs> yeah. yeah, they were great. Yeah. So what do you want um, readers to get from your books? For the most part, um, my priority is to write a really good story that readers just can't put down. And um, and after that, I mean, there's always a faith message in the stories. It may be more subtle in some books than others, and I never try to beat somebody over the head with the faith element, but um, but it's there. And I, I hope that they can see that, And um, but if not, I really hope they get a really great few hours of escapism. <laughs> that's right. That's why we read and <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. So do you know what the faith element is going to be in the book before you write it? Or does it kind of, you know, it kind of comes about? Um, sometimes I do. But mostly it starts to come as the story develops. I am more of an organic writer than a sit down and, you know, plot a 20-page outline or something. I, I tend to start writing and then 
get stuck <laughs> and then have to sit and figure out the next couple of chapters and then and I but I generally know how I want it to end even if I may not know the villain right off the bat sometimes I do sometimes I don't sometimes it changes um, so I may have a pretty good picture of the ending but the middle always kind of is very fluid and subject to change and so yeah so when you write a series like Blue Justice series like do you um, do you have like a like like a, a mystery that's weaving through all of them that you figured out in the beginning or no um, uh -huh. I think I did that with one series with the um, which one was it? The Deadly Reunion series, where it had a uh, like an overarching mystery. Each book wrapped up, yeah. but there was a mystery that really didn't wrap up until the book yeah. three, and I got so much hate mail. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, readers don't like that. I'm never doing that again. So, oh, wow. um, so the, no, uh, the, the the mystery wraps up in each yeah. book. There's the, the the family and the characters usually tie the books together. For, you know, like the three sisters. And in this case, um, the Blue Justice series is a family of six siblings, which four of which I wrote the longer books about, and I do have the novella oh, coming okay. out with Ruthie, the other sister. Okay. Um, it's coming. It's, it's another anthology that uh, that we did oh, yes. with um, Dee Henderson and Danny Petrie, yeah. and so I wrote her story in the novella. So yeah, so um, each story wraps up. <laughs> that is like amazing to have the three of you in one set. Like you, you guys <laughs> that have done fun. that. Yeah, yeah, that was a lot of fun. Oh yes. my goodness! Like that's that's just a great combination. Like if you don't buy any book this year, that would be the one to buy. So. <laughs> but yeah, that's, thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. No, those are those are really good, and I. I say those are ones where you have to like pay attention because you never know like what you're reading, what is going to matter to get to the end. So yeah, yeah, like yeah. Um, what is something um, like memorable um, that you've heard from like um, readers? Like, do you ever get mail or email? You know, and just oh yeah, I get lots of email. Um, one thing that really kind of struck me is uh, I got an email from a, a girl that works with some at-risk youth. And I, it, it's like a residential setting, so they they go to school there. They um, they they've been in trouble with the law and and that kind of thing. And so it's I don't know. I guess it's like teen jail, but not jail jail. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and so and she was working with them in the residential section of it, and she had a few of my books, and she put them out there for them to read. And apparently, they just really enjoy them very much. And she emailed me to let me know this and. Um, I was really touched by that. Yeah. I was like, oh, a bunch of, you know, yeah. she said you wouldn't believe that she, I mean, she called them thugs is what she said. <laughs> she said, you got these thugs with the, you know, all the piercings and the tattoos and they're yeah. sitting there reading my book and they're, they're just dying to know what happens wow. next. And I was like, oh, that is really cool. Wow, that so, is. Um, that's one of the more memorable things. And so I ended up sending her like a whole box of these oh. books. So. So the books were falling apart. They were reading them over and over. And so yeah, so that was neat. That was neat. I was touched. Yeah, that is. I, I think you do. You just never know. Like um, one, like if we're just escaping, or you know, I've heard like people reading them through chemo, and the book will get them through chemo. And, yeah. You know, yeah. Just different and it, you just never know. I've got a, yeah, I've gotten emails from that, and just I got a lot of a lot of really touching emails from people. Yeah. So our final question for Facebook Live, of all the things you've accomplished, um, what are you the most proud of? And, oh, um, wow. I would say, well, of course, when when I one of my stories touches somebody like that, that's got to be the probably the best moment. I mean, it's fun to win the awards. It's fun to be recognized. It's fun to have books on the shelf and stuff. But to know that my stories that I prayed over and um, asked God to use, you know, are doing that. He's doing that. that that's, that's amazing. Well, and I would say too, like for every, you know, letter or note you get, there's 10 others that, that don't. That don't you know, write. But yeah. they, I hope they're so. still touched, you know. No. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks, Lynette, so much. And um, we'll put Thank links you. to her um, books on the web, on the blog when we post this over there. But um, we appreciate it. See you guys later. Thanks.